Hello everyone, this is Beth Alford Sullivan, the director and head coach of men's and women's track and field and cross country at the University of Tennessee. The last couple weeks have been a whirlwind for our athletes, coaches, and staff. So I'd like to say a big thank you to all who have shared their words of encouragement and shown support with us as we navigate this current reality. Most of our young people are back home, all are safe and all are healthy, and I've asked them to hunker down, remain focused, and do their best as scholars, champions, and leaders. 2020 was off to an amazing start for us, and there's no doubt that some of our dreams and aspirations were left unable to be fulfilled. I wanna take this opportunity today to give a great shout out to our seven NCAA Indoor National Championship qualifiers. Alexis Duncan and Dominique Turner, both qualifiers in the 60 meter hurdles, Latavia Maines and Joe Maxwell in the shot put. Carrie McLeod in the long jump and the triple jump. Alani Sutton in the triple jump. And Daryl Sullivan as a national leader in the high jump. Since the championships were canceled, this group of young people has stayed positive and has shown an inspiring amount of resolve in these unprecedented times. They continue to lead by setting a great example for our younger athletes on our team to stay the course and to keep one's focus on our goals. I am proud of how they represent Tennessee track and field every single day. Everyone within our program, athletes, coaches, and support staff have been committed to making Tennessee an elite, well-rounded contender at the SEC and national level. We took great strides towards these goals this year as my men's team was ranked number 10 in the country heading into the NCAA Indoor Championships. We had our best team finish at the Indoor SEC meet in over a decade, backing up our cross country teams in the fall where my Lady Vols also had their best finish in the SEC since 09. This shortened indoor season was filled with several accomplishments and awards. Currently, Carrie McLeod is selected as a finalist for the National Field Athlete of the Year, while Associate Head Coach Travis Geffert is a finalist for the National Assistant Coach of the Year. Kerry was also selected by the SEC head coaches as the SEC Field Athlete of the Year. I'm proud to say that our senior captain, Daryl Sullivan, is the current number one ranked high jumper in the world and has been on the watch list for the Barman Award twice this year. We brought home eight medals from the Indoor SEC Championship. And we broke four school records, three freshman records, and 24 top 10 marks in our program were set this indoor season alone. I could go on and on with track stats, but most importantly, this team had a focused intensity that is unique and fun, and one that leads programs to the top of podiums. This strong team culture has helped the team members move through this difficult time, and combined with positive energy from my coaching staff, I can confidently say that we have the best people in place to move forward and come out even stronger for our future. So thank you, Vol Nation, for all the support and all the encouragement. Thank you to our campus leadership and to the Athletics Administration for the guidance through these uncharted waters. Even though it is disappointing to lose the outdoor season of 2020, the men and women of Tennessee track and field and cross country are prepared and resilient and we will never let go of our Tennessee tradition of being champions. We can't wait for next year, and let's go Vols.